Hello, good afternoon all. My name is Dr. Kedar Patel. I am a bariatric hernia and advanced laparoscopic surgeon at Apollo Spectra Hospitals in Pune. <clears throat> After completing my general surgical training, I have done my FMB in minimal access surgery at one of the India's best hospitals for laparoscopic surgery. Following which, I have done my FMB. Uh, I've done my fellowship in bariatric and metabolic surgery at Taiwan and I've been practicing for last 10 years in Pune. <clears throat> Coming to today's topic about uh, obesity and weight loss myths and facts. Uh, let me start this discussion uh, by mentioning a few things about obesity. As you all know, Obesity is a big problem in India along with diabetes and uh, we have about 6 to 7 crore people who are suffering from obesity in various forms and we also have about <clears throat> 10 to 12 uh, lakh of uh, crore of people suffering from diabetes which is which goes hand in hand with obesity at times and Together putting the problem, we have about 20 crore people who are suffering from obesity and diabetes as it is known as diabetes. So whom do we exactly call obese is a question not known to many. <clears throat> Someone who has a BMI of about 18.5 to 23 is normal BMI with normal weight. Someone who has a BMI of 23 to 27.5 is overweight and about 27.5 we term as obesity. About 50 BMI we term it as super obesity. So coming back to the question what is BMI? So it's a health parameter wherein Weight in kgs by height in meter square is a formula. We have many Google apps to calculate this, uh, wherein you put in your weight in kgs and you put in your height in meter square, you can get to know the BMI. It's an indicator of your health, the proportion of height to weight, and WHO has set in these guidelines that, that I mentioned that. Uh, the classification of being overweight and obese based on BMI. A simple way to measure or to understand if a person is obese or not, just simply measure the waist circumference. So if it is about 90 centimeters in males or about 80 centimeters in females, a person is obese and high risk for metabolic syndrome. So we Asians are more prone for type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. So WHO has set in different guidelines for the Asian population and different guidelines for the Western population. So Asians have to be more careful about obesity because we are more prone for cardiac diseases. So having said that, the easiest way one can calculate is deducting 100 centimeters from your height. So, so suppose someone who is 5 feet his height in centimeters is 150 centimeters. Just deducting 100 centimeters, the ideal weight is around 50 kgs. There may be a 10% variation to this. So, if let's say the same person is 80 kgs, the ideal weight is 50. So, 30 kgs is his excess weight. One needs to understand BMI and one needs to understand about excess weight. Because these are the reference points where my subsequent uh, explanation of this topic of obesity and weight loss depends on. So, there was a myth amongst Indian people for a long, long time. The people used to say, Thoda wazan zada hai, to khate pite ghar ka hoga. Aur achha hai. But let me tell you that obesity is a uh, big problem because it leads to many more problems 
the reason is it can lead to type 2 diabetes hypertension joint pains obstructive sleep apnea polycystic ovarian diseases infertility and certain cancers like breast pancreatic colorectal cancers so saying that if a person is obese is good is the first myth and it needs to be corrected obesity ek achhi bimari nahi hai ek achhi baat nahi hai iska treatment bahut zaruri hai when we explain people that diabetes is due to obesity they fail to understand because a lot of obese people do not have diabetes and vice versa but let me tell you type 2 diabetes of all the types of diabetes is directly related to obesity the reason is there is insulin resistance amongst obese people the free fatty acid levels and triglyceride levels interfere and the insulin that is secreted from body it fails to match up the requirements inside the cells and the sugars remain high and person develops diabetes and diabetes let me tell you has a natural history wherein people start taking single tablet then they move on to two tablets then they move on to four tablets then they move on to insulin so this is a natural history in any diabetic person hypertension in obesity is seen because because of the increased intraabdominal pressure of obesity uh, there is strain on the renin angiotensin system that that works in the kidney and that is how hypertension sets in sleep apnea aur ek jo samajh hai indian population mein ki agar koi aadmi kharate maar raha hai to ye achhi baat hai bahut acche se soya hai then again this is a myth let me tell you because karate lena ya sleep apnea hum medical terminology mein isko sleep apnea bolte hain this is bad for health what is happening is because of excess fat deposition around the neck region and uh, person being short neck the tongue it's a muscular organ it falls back it obstructs the airway the carbon dioxide in the body increases and it produces strain on the right heart so person may develop hypertension pulmonary hypertension because of these and there are incidences of sudden cardiac death due to this sleep apnea as well infertility we see this in young females especially around the age group of 28 to 38 wherein they have obesity they have polycystic ovarian disease and it goes hand in hand that pcod increases weight weight increases pcod so these people these females especially uh, they fail to conceive with in spite of multiple attempts at uh, pregnancy and fertility the root cause obesity has to be treated in this case then there are array of problems apart from these significant few like increase uric acid levels increase cholesterol fatty liver uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease is one of the reasons of liver cirrhosis and liver cell cancer later in life joint pain uh, is there in many patients especially the knee joint pain and back pain and of course what we don't realize in india is the poor quality of life that a person with obesity lives he is discriminated by society as being lazy there is discrimination at workplace and uh, this psychological trauma of obesity cannot be judged by a layman and only been understood by a person who is suffering from obesity so all put in together obesity is a severe disease and it needs attention it needs treatment and the labeling as a person being obese just because or he is lazy and that's the reason he is obese it's a wrong thing there are multiple reasons for a person to be obese apart from genetic reasons like uh, the environmental factors uh, sedentary lifestyle is one of the factors so one needs to understand the cause of obesity and accordingly we treat obesity that comes to 
my next aspect that how is obesity treated let me tell you obesity treatment is and has to be individualized it's not a single treatment that works for all so this is again the treatment is based on bmi guidelines so if a person has a bmi between 23 to 27.5 that is the person is overweight in those cases we do not offer any intervention to this patient diet exercise and psychological support change in lifestyle is that all that is needed again the dietitian has to be a qualified dietitian she has to understand the caloric content the caloric uh, interventions the physiotherapist or the exercise consultant has to take into consideration the knee joint pain the back pain the immobility because of obesity and advise those specific individualized exercises and one needs to understand just by doing diet or exercise is not going to help one needs to change the lifestyle one needs to change the stresses that are causing the person probably to eat more so all this has to be done by a team a single dietitian a single exercise consultant or a single psychologist cannot do this and we at apollo have this facility where we are offering non surgical treatment to these patients wherein we can help them lose about on an average 5 to 8 kg with one or two months treatment so a person who is on diet exercise cannot lose more than 5 to 8% of his total body weight this has to be very clearly understood understood by people mera 40 kg zyada wazan hai ye diet aur exercise se kam ho jayega maine exercise bhi nahi kiya to chalega so this is again a myth let me tell you the maximum weight loss that we generally see is 5 to 8 kg unless a person is fit and uh, very well motivated one cannot lose more than 5 to 8% of the total body weight medicines aur ek myth jo hai ki main dawai kha leta hu darwaza wazan kam ho jayega to ye galat baat hai medicines again 5 to 8% weight loss if agar aap koi dawai le rahe hain ek ya teen mahina le rahe hain aur aapka 5% tak weight loss agar nahi hota hai teen mahine mein तो आपको ये दवाई बंद करनी चाहिए चेंज करनी चाहिए या डॉक्टर की सलाह से कुछ एडवान मेडिसिन लेनी चाहिए पर वेट लॉस ये जो मेडिसिन से होता है ये पांच से आठ परसेंट के ऊपर नहीं होता है सो बी एम आई ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डायट एक्सरसाइज साइकोलॉजिकल सपोर्ट लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस इफ नीडेड मेडिसिन देन वॉट डू वी डू फॉर बी एम आई अबाउट ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव so 27.5 to 32 again it's uh, uh, is bmi ke range mein logo ko metabolic syndrome hota hai metabolic syndrome mane obesity ke sath jin logon ko diabetes hai hypertension hai raised triglycerides hai aur heart ki problem hai in problems ko hum metabolic syndrome bolte hain to logo ko agar ye problem hai aur bmi 27 to 32 hai aur डाइट एक्सरसाइज से वजन कम नहीं हो रहा है तो हम उनको नॉन सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन में इंट्रागैस्ट्रिक बलून या इंट्रागैस्ट्रिक एंडोस्कोपिक स्लीव गैस्ट्रोप्लास्टी ये दो तो प्रोसीजर्स एंडोस्कोपी द्वारा किए जाते हैं इसमें सर्जरी की जरूरत नहीं है और इसमें हम 10 से 15 किलो तक वजन कम कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट इज सीन वर्ल्ड अक्रॉस की लोगों ने पूरा डाइट एक्सरसाइज का प्रोटोकॉल फॉलो किया है कम नहीं हो रहा है तो उनको ये एक ऑप्शन है नॉन सर्जिकल जिसमें इंट्रागेस्टिक बलून और एंडोस्कोपिक स्लीव गैस्ट्रोप्लास्टी ये दो प्रोसीजर्स से 10 से 15 किलो तक वजन कम हो सकता है नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स कि जिनका बीएमआई 32 के ऊपर है उनका हम क्या करें तो इनके लिए मैं बताना चाहता हूँ कि अगर डायबिटीज है बीपी है बाकी बीमारियां है क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ हैज बीन अफेक्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ ओबेसिटी तो इनको हम बेरियाटिक सर्जरी एडवाइस करते हैं 
और जिनका बीएमआई 37 के ऊपर है बीमारियां नहीं है फिर भी हम उनको पेडियाट्रिक सर्जरी एडवाइस करते हैं क्योंकि उनको ये बीमारियां अगले 5 या 10 साल में चालू होने वाली है तो बेरियाटिक सर्जरी जो बेरियाटिक और मेटाबॉलिक अगर हम बीमारियां ट्रीट करने के लिए सर्जरी कर रहे हैं तो उसको मेटाबॉलिक बोला जाता है वजन कम करने का इंटेंशन है तो बेरियाटिक बोलते हैं वजन कम होने पर बीमारियां कम होने ही वाली है वो बेरियाटिक सर्जरी में मुख्यतः इसके दो प्रकार हैं एक है स्लीव गैस्ट्रेक्टोमी एक है गैस्ट्रिक बाइपास गैस्ट्रिक बाइपास के बहुत सारे तरीके हैं तो what we are doing in sleeve gastrectomy is we are reducing the size of the stomach thereby the volume that a person can eat reduces there is a hormone known as ghrelin which stimulates appetite iske levels kam ho jate hain to iski wajah se kam khane se bhi aadmi ko bhook nahi lagti hai so sleeve gastrectomy is good for young people newly diagnosed diabetic patients for which they can lose up to 60 to 70 percent of their excess weight. So, we have seen example of a 5 feet army, 80 kgs weight. Hai. Still, he qualifies for surgery because he is excess by 30 kgs. So, in that case, we can help him about to lose about 18 to 24 kgs with which his diabetes, hypertension and other problems can get solved. Someone who is more than 100 definitely qualifies for a surgery. So, अगर आप आपका वजन 100 के ऊपर है, 120 से 140 है, and you are taking some medicines with the thought that आपका वजन कम हो जाएगा, तो ये गलत है। You qualify for a bariatric surgery and you should consider bariatric surgery. Gastric bypass में हम stomach का एक छोटा pouch कर रहे हैं, intestines वहाँ पे attach कर रहे हैं, उससे GLP-1, PYY नाम के hormones में फर्क पड़ जाता है। और significant weight loss होता है to the tune of 60 to 80 percent. So gastric bypass के और कुछ types होते हैं पर मुख्यतः हम देखें तो periodic surgery में sleeve gastrectomy और gastric bypass ये दो main treatment options हैं. तो BMI मैं फिर से बताना चाहता हूँ कि BMI जिनका 32 के ऊपर है 37.5 के ऊपर है तो इन लोगों को periodic and metabolic surgery हमने एक ऑप्शन एज एन ऑप्शन कंसीडर करके उनको ये ऑप्शन बताना चाहिए उनको फैमिली मेंबर्स को ये हम जनरली देखते हैं कि सर्जरी अगर बोल बोला जाता है तो फैमिली मेंबर्स डर जाते हैं या रिफ्यूज करते हैं तो अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट व्हाई द ओबेसिटी इज देयर उसका ट्रीटमेंट कैसा करते हैं सर्जरी के ऑप्शंस क्या है ये जानने पे ही आपको बेरियाटिक सर्जरी और मेटाबॉलिक सर्जरी के बारे में डिटेल्स हम समझा सकते हैं। कमिंग टू द पोस्ट सर्जिकल आउटकम्स, डायबिटीज, हाइपरटेंशन, स्लीप एपनिया, यूरिक एसिड के प्रॉब्लम्स और ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स ये सब प्रॉब्लम 60 टू 90 परसेंट लोगों में रिजॉल्व हो जाते हैं या इंप्रूवमेंट दिखाई � डायबिटीज में 62 90 परसेंट लोगों में दवाइयां पूरी तरह से बंद हो जाती है इंसुलिन जिनके रिक्वायरमेंट है वो दवाइयां पे आ जाते हैं प्रोवाइडेड डायबिटीज ड्यूरेशन इज लेस देन 10 इयर्स और पैनक्रेटिक फंक्शन उनका अच्छा है सिमिलर रिजल्ट्स आर सीन फॉर हाइपरटेंसिव स्लीप एपनिया पेशेंट्स एंड अदर अदर कंडीशंस दैट आर देयर सो this is a surgery which is covered by insurance in recent days in India. Uh, the IRDA, which is the regulatory authority for insurance in India, has made it mandatory for all the insurance companies uh, after October 2019 that they include bariatric surgery as an inclusion in their policies. They cannot just discard it and cannot exclude it. It's an useful surgery the insurance companies have understood because the cost savings for lifetime are significant. And let me tell you, CGHS patients, the central uh, government health scheme patients also can avail this surgery free of cost. Coming to the gist of treatment of obesity, myths and facts of obesity and weight loss. To summarize what I've been saying, that 
Bariatric surgery is a valid treatment option for those whose BMI is above 32. It is a useful surgery. It has been found in multiple researchers throughout the world. Uh, yearly, there are about 3 to 4 lakh surgeries done worldwide. There are, we have long term results. More than 10 to 15 years of results are available in India. In the West, more than 20 25 years of results are available. It's a safe surgery. It should be done by a qualified laparoscopic and bariatric surgeon who is conducting support group meetings regularly, can take care of a bariatric, post-bariatric patient as a team, the dietitian, physiotherapist, the psychologist, in a setup which has all the facilities of an ideal uh, bariatric surgical uh, infrastructure is there. And bariatric or weight loss treatment is an individualized treatment, just taking pills, or doing some fat diets or doing something which has worked in someone may not work in a person so it is a basically an individualized treatment and of course it has to be done by the right person at the right place so friends this is about bariatric surgery the myths and facts about obesity and weight loss. If you need any help, our center in Pune is always there to help you all. And of course, we are there to cater to your queries. Thank you all for joining for this program. And, and uh, we would like to be hearing from you all if you have any queries in the chat box. You can ask questions to which we'll reply uh, at our Easier. Thank you.